Hey everybody, how's it going today? What you're watching right now is the last time I'm going to sweep a solar panel off. Because I've got a great system that I want to show you. And I hope everybody gets something out of this video and enjoys it. I'm stealing my firewood again, boy. plan is to mount the panel on this board and put this board on hinges so that it can tilt out when I'm here and when I'm not here they can hang straight up and down. So I need to fill in this batten strip area. Block like this would be likely to split if you don't drill a pile of holes in it. This is the edge of one block and that'll fit in a batten strip. And over here's the other edge. I'm just going to start with these ones with some small drywall screws. And then I'll replace these screws with some long screws that'll go right into the side of the cabin. So when you're here, tilt it out to the right angle. About like that. Cut a couple boards around 20 inches. Set this up. Screw a block right here. Now, I'm going to put a block on top and bottom so there's no way this can kick out while I have it set up. So that shouldn't go anywhere now. I'm gonna keep all this hardware separate and in a safe place so I don't lose it. So if I wanna set them up like this again, I can. These are a plastic frame, so I'm definitely not gonna crank these screws down super tight. I don't wanna break them. Once again, I forgot my level. So with no level, I'm just eyeballing it. These Harbor Freight panels have their own built-in stand. So I'm just going to fold it up. Maybe. Nope. I'd get my cord out. There we go. There. Let's fold it up. Make sure nothing's pinched. One thing I thought about before I started this, but forgot when I did start it, 
is I actually need to take this. I only put one screw in at a time, so I didn't notice it pinch, but it will if I put the other screw in. So I'm gonna take these, cut my zip ties loose, and reroute them behind here. With having this blocked out ways from the cabin, I can run my cord behind here and it won't pinch when I hinge it up. But this won't work because once you tighten that, it'll pinch the cord and ruin them. Now, for storing the prop rods, slide them right back here between the panel and this upright. And when I'm here, I'll just pull it out and prop the panel up. Just getting to the cabin, you can see there's about three inches of fresh snow that we got last night. Last week, there was nothing on the roof it was on its way to melting. Hopefully this is the last of it. But I haven't been around back yet. I want to go around back and let's see what those solar panels look like. See if they're snow free. Because everything else, anything that's on a slope, has snow on it. So hopefully it's working. Let's find out. Let's see. And look at that. Hardly a speck. So you can see, hardly a speck of snow on them. They're not in the greatest direct sunlight here, but I mean, you could build this setup anywhere. You could build it on like two posts, like an H frame. That's actually the way it was showed to me, was on an H frame. You could do it anywhere, works great. And then of course you can just come on out. You want to get better sun, prop it up. So in the end, if you have a cabin that you don't go to all the time, and it's got solar panels, you want to keep your battery charged all the time, get yourself a setup like this. It may not be at the perfect angle, but it's always charging, and it's never buried in snow. I want to thank Andy Rusa. He commented on my solar panel video, and he actually sent me his setup. and. This is very similar to it. His was on a post. Mine, it was winter time. I, I really didn't want to try to chip through the ice to put posts in. But uh, you could do it either way. And it works great. Saves me a lot of work. My panels are always clean. They're always charging. Really nice setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.